morning and welcome to Titan TV. I'm Mr. Kells. Happy April Fool's Day. Today is Wednesday, April 1st and I'm Mrs. Kells. Just a reminder, for those of you that don't have access to technology at home, a limited number of laptops can be checked out here at UHS April 6th through the 9th. Attention juniors, they have extended the deadline for the Engineering Scholars Program at Embry-Riddle. This program is for college-bound juniors who are in or already have taken pre-calculus. The application is on our website, uhstitans.com. The new deadline is April 24th. Seniors, follow Mrs. Maricino on Twitter, at Titan Counselor, for scholarship information. Your school counselors are available to assist you. You can contact your counselor via email or through your, their new phone number through Teams. Phone numbers are listed on our website. Seniors, you still must complete the FAFSA application for financial aid for college. There is a great video that can help you get more information about the FAFSA. Click on the link posted in the description section. Titans, while we're stuck indoors, we can show our Titan spirit. Join us on social media platforms and partake in UHS SGA's Virtual Spirit Week. Use the following hashtags on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Hashtags are hashtag Titans Home Spirit, hashtag Virtual Titan Spirit Week. Monday is Pajama Day. Wearing our PJs today and staying comfortable as possible is the best way to work and the best way to start our week. Tuesday, bedhead day, because why would we want to fix our hair right now anyway? Look at this guy. I don't even do my hair. It just looks this way naturally. Wednesday, hero day. Today we dress in honor of our essential personnel, our everyday heroes, putting our lives in front of their own to help us in our time of need. Thursday, Jersey Day. Today we wear our favorite team in honor of all the players who aren't able to play right now. And Friday is Titan Pride Day. Wear your favorite Titan tee to show the community UHS appreciates them. Let's show that Titan Pride. Volusia County Schools will be providing free breakfast and lunch meals for students during this extended school closure. Students must be present to receive meals. Meals will be available for pickup between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. in the parent loop of the schools that are listed on the district's website. The Volusia County Public Library System is ready to support our students' online learning needs. They offer a wealth of online resources and can connect you to a specialized tutor in every subject area. Getting a library card also grants you access to free movies, music, and a book downloads. You can quickly get your account ready to go over the phone. Visit volusialibrary.org for more details or call 386-789-7207. Daytona State College Theater Program is now accepting video auditions for 2020-21 theater scholarships. Acting students should send a video of a one minute monologue and musical theater students should send a video of a one minute monologue, one minute up-tempo song, and a one minute ballad. The deadline for submission is April 20th. For questions or how to submit a video, please email Samantha Stern at Samantha underscore Stern at Daytona ST. I think I'm going to audition. I think I'm going to send in my song. What do you think? I was always thinking about going back and being an actor. I can sing great. The hills are alive Cut. with the sound of music. Cut. Where's Brayden when we need him? I don't know. Probably just, doing his homework right now. I'll just stick to the teaching gig. Yes. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. And we'll be signing off today with Kyra Birch's award-winning video titled Senior Reflections. Thanks for watching. And remember, it's all about the you. It's all about the you. So I'm sad that it's my senior year because we came in as freshmen scared to start a new career and now I'm going off to start college but I'm also not scared because I finally 
feel like I can like grow up? And um, yes and no. I feel like senior year was a really important year. It was for growth and for learning a little bit more about ourselves, I think. But I, I'm sad that we're going into adulthood, so. Um, senior year impacted me by letting me know that I do really want to go to the military and want to go to Army and that I love playing music and the memories I made with my friends. So my favorite thing about senior year was running for homecoming king. Um, it allowed me to connect with my class, meet more people than I thought I already knew, and then make a genuine connection with the class of 2020 um, because I got to go around and talk to everybody. I got to run with a bunch of my friends and um, winning was just kind of the best feeling because I knew I got to represent our class and I won with my best friends, so yeah. Honestly, I'm not sad at all because I've been waiting to graduate for forever now. So it's really just a relief, like it's finally over and I'm very happy about it. Senior year has impacted me by just making me more mature, as in because soon we're going into adulthood and like I didn't know anything about applying to jobs or college or anything and like now I know. So I'm ready for adulthood. <laughs> yes, I am sad about leaving high school because this experience has shaped me into the person that I am today. Removing all types of friendships, helping me go mentally, physically, and just emotionally overall. It allowed me to experience new things and go out of my comfort zone, and allowed me to pursue a career path that I wouldn't expect. Um, my favorite part of high school so far has been going out with more of my friends, because I usually don't do that, and taking classes that I've wanted to take for a really long time but haven't gotten the chance to. Um, I think my favorite thing is meeting a bunch of people that like I know I'm gonna be friends with in college, like um, you and Haley, because we're gonna move in together, and I'm just like really excited. Um, I'm not really that sad to graduate high school, just because I want to move to the next step and like see where life takes me. But I'm also a little sad to because I'm gonna miss seeing all my friends and like going to pep rallies and events and just like the fun atmosphere of high school.